I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Here we go again. Who's happy? Barry's happy. I'm always happy at I'm the start here. of these. Happy. Let's stay happy at the end of these. Janice, do we have a theme? Hello, gentlemen. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it weird early on. <laughs> Today's theme is canned food. And I'm looking for a delicious meal made predominantly using canned or tinned foods. All right. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confident with that. Yeah. And the order? The order will be decided on who cried the most in our recent oh, Poker Face yeah. Hot Sauce Challenge, from most to least. I cried less. Baz cried the most. Barry first, Jamie, then me, yeah. Ebbers because you're in it, and James because you weren't Default. in it at the end. Yes. All right, great. Let's boys, do this. Excellent. We've got this in the After can. you, boys. One at a time, the boys have 10 minutes to cook and add to a final dish. The remaining team will have no idea what is being cooked until they step into the kitchen. I love my tin food. My cupboards are full of them. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to make what I had last night. Last night, I made myself a delicious butter bean hummus with crispy lamb on top. Basically, butter beans drained, blitzed up with some lemon zest, some garlic, olive oil, salt pepper. It's kind of a, a cheese hummus, but I'm happy with that. So let's put that in a bowl so the guys know what to do. So it's ready for them, I can clear down. I'm panicking. Okay, right, so that's done. I, to wash. I won't wash it up yet, because there's one more thing I want to do. What I want to do next is fry off some corned beef. Should have preheated the pan earlier. How do you open these? This is going to be amazing. Did you turn it? Did you turn it? Oh, no, never way. After such a lofty start, Barry spectacularly descends back into oh, there you go. being Barry. Oh, no. Don't think that's how it's done, but how I'm doing it. How are you going to do this? Stupid idea. I'm not going to offend you all by saying don't try this at home ah! because we are all better than that. Get out! I've never used this before! I don't know how it works! It's like dog food! He's certainly made a dog's dinner. Get out! Stupid, stupid idea. I need some flavour in there. Oregano. Some thyme. Apart from screwing up the opening of the can, I think I've done alright. I've used two tins. I'm gonna give myself a seven. And now it's over to Jamie. Jamie! <laughs> We've opened some corned beef, blended some butter beans. Is that a butter bean hummus? Come on, now corned beef goes really well in like a hash, corned beef hash, that is a dish. We've only used two tins so far, that's not good enough. Let's go. I'm just giving us options. I've picked all of these up and I have no idea what to do with them. What if I got some potatoes on? Yeah, potato and pumpkin mash, that sounds odd, but also delicious. I'm not going to peel my potatoes because of time and also flavor. We don't have any texture. Texture, because mushy, mashy, mushy, mushy. No, it's all mushy. Ah. Crispy onions. We can get some crisp from these onions. They'll have a really different texture to everything else. How do you make crispy onions? <laughs> okay. That should be hot oil. I think we can all agree that that was a fairly disappointing, underwhelming, typical <laughs> Jamie turn. What am I going to give myself out of 10? Four. Michael! What have we got? Okay, so we've got fried onions. 
Oh, that's corned beef. Oh, I hate corned beef. But hey, we can do something. Hummus, butter beans, pumpkin. I mean, what on earth? How does lemon hummus go with corned beef? What's going on? Right, think about this. What can we do? What can we do? What's missing? Veg. Right, what I'm going to do is going to make some homemade beans because we're missing a veg element and I think that can be a basis of something for the chefs to do something interesting with. It's very basic, corned beef, potatoes, beans, but at least they're homemade and I get to use three tins, so that's on brief. So I've got oil in the pan, I'm going to make a base of just red onion. Um, I wonder whether I could do anything. No, now is not the time, Mike. Now, no, where did all the time go? I'm hoping that Homemade beans is a good way to go. Now, I know what they will say, is that good beans take ages and you just leave them like simmering away in liquid for ages to take on a whole load of flavour. But we ain't got no time for that. So, I'm just going to do like a speedy version. I know we've got two lots of onions on the go, but I don't know what on earth I was supposed to do with these. I don't know how to communicate this, but I wonder whether I just stick these all together. I'd have loved to have done more with this, but it's taken four minutes for this oil to heat up to tepid. I could literally put this in my eye and it wouldn't even affect me. I've done nothing. I've done nothing. Nothing. <laughs> if I stack these, does it make it feel like I did more? Um... I'm gonna give myself a one. Ebers! Lots of lovely smells in the kitchen and the tin tower. Okay, eyes on. Onions, only just gone in, so they're gonna need to sweat away. I might see if I can stick a lid on. Keep the steam in as well, cook a bit quicker. Fried onions, we've got a big pan of potatoes, skin on. Corned beef's already cooked. It's nice to sometimes make it crispy, but it doesn't need to be overcooked. We'll leave that, anything in the oven. It looks Definitely savoury campfire-esque with these kind of flavours going on, but it's going to need a lot more going on. Maybe the tomatoes and the beans were left out to turn it into beans? Was that my clue that I moved to one side? Ah! I'm going to keep this going and I'm going to add texture to the plate. The great thing about tin food is it limits wastage, unless you open them all and don't use them. So I've got to try and find a way of using pumpkin. Otherwise it defeats the point of having been opened. I'm going to make savoury crumble and I'm going to cook it off separately in the oven which is preheated so that we've got some texture for the plate that James, in kind of a rule of three, can sort of crumble over at the end. So I'm going to quickly blend up just because it's quicker than worrying about rubbing the two together. Flour, butter, seasoning, herbs, smoked paprika and a bunch of fresh herbs in there as well. Normally you'd rub butter into the flour, add sugar, maybe some spice, and then cook it off on some fruit. But today, let's make it savoury. It needs about 12, 15 minutes, 13 minutes to crisp up. I hope he finds it. Right, onions with all the steam locked in, add to it. The tomatoes, pumpkin, and a tin of beans. They haven't got long to cook down. That's my only concern. 10 minutes alone left for James to put it together should be okay if he can work out what to do. And it's not that clear, but I'm gonna try and make it as easy as possible for him. This is gonna to have to be garnish. Crispy-ish, not ideal, but we'll drain them there so at least he's got the option. Lots of homely, hearty flavors, but I'm gonna give myself six and a half, seven. Seven. James! Okay, what have we got? Okay, some beans. We've got some beans. These look nice. Bubbling away. Burnt onions. What is good is that, yes. Yes. That's really good. The corned beef is great because it's crispy. Somebody didn't put it in with everything else. They put it in a separate pan and crisped it up. What is this? That's good too. Wow. Okay. This is how Ooh. James sounds when he's happy. I never experienced that. I'm pleased. They've left everything really, really well for me. So, the potatoes, not loving them. I'm gonna drain the potatoes and I'm gonna try and fry them. Janice, keep an eye on that. It might catch fire. Wait, what? I'm in a recording booth in Grimsby. Okay, uh, potatoes. So I've let them steam dry, that's really important because you don't want any moisture on them if they're frying. I'm just gonna like press them a little bit, very carefully. 
It's looking pretty good. I haven't tasted it, don't know what it is. I want to keep everything because people have worked on these and they're all good. Oh, this is going to be tight. Oh, it's, it's working, but it's probably not got enough time to work. Crispy bits of uh, corned beef. Fry, fry. We're really liking where this is going. I think the onions are going to work. They're like dark, but I don't think they don't taste burnt. So I think they're going to be good. Let's see if my small contribution is going to work. Probably not. Oh my God. Oh my God, we ran out of time. We ran out of time. A little bit of smoke paprika. Oh, I'd really like something green. Nine, eight, seven, six. Mm -hmm. uh, time. I'm pretty happy. Uh, the potatoes needed maybe like four or five more minutes. I'm gonna give myself like a seven. I think it went all right. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Lift the blindfolds. Ooh. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. I wouldn't expect anything else from you. <laughs> That's been curried. <laughs> that has been James curried. The boys have made white bean hummus with smoky beans, crispy corned beef, savoury crumble and crispy onions. No, I don't know what to call it either. I was honestly so happy when I got into the kitchen. I thought you guys had done a great job. And number one, the hummus was, tastes great. And number two, the, whoever started off the corned beef did an amazing job because frying it separately to everything else was so necessary. James, can I just say I, I came into the kitchen second. Yes. Both of those elements were already done. Um. <laughs> so what you've done there, James, is inadvertently uh. just give me the biggest compliment you've ever given me. It looks both fancy and homely at the same time, which is quite impressive. Yeah. Taste. 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 Let's go. It's nice. We're a bit weird. No, I don't think it's weird at all. Do you know that what? tastes exactly as I expected it to taste when I looked at it. I tell you what, I'm getting a massive punch of flavour from the lemon and garlic in that mm. butter bean hummus. It's stodgy but fresh. Yeah. I think when balanced with, what's that smoky? There's smoky baked beans. You got my tower hint. I managed to get the pumpkin into the beans. Stuff had been opened, but at least it was open with a tin opener. It wasn't me, no. Because I was surprised someone didn't take their finger off of what had happened to the corned beef tin. <laughs> the only fear I had was that there wasn't going to be enough texture and it was all going to be the same texture. And the texture's coming from the onions and the, and the crumble. Could do with a bit more texture. I can't make a what? Crispy potatoes. <laughs> that is a great <laughs> idea. Done it. What did you score yourself and is it a pass or fail? After what you said, James, I feel like I've underscored myself. But I gave myself a seven and it's delicious, so it's a pass. I gave myself a four and it was delicious. I think it's a pass. I gave myself a one. Oh, come on. It wasn't really even frying. It, the pan took four minutes to heat up. But you did tower some tins and give me a clue and they all got opened and put into the pan. You would not have been able to make beans had I not put that tower there for you. You should have been at least one and a half. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> it's definitely a pass. Um, it's definitely a pass, without doubt. I think that's a, actually a really nice dish. And I gave myself a seven. I gave myself a seven. So, it looks pretty. And I, th I, think it's, I think it's a pass. I, I think the fact that we used corned beef and got a dish that looks and tastes like that is pretty impressive. Hey! That's a pass. Strong. We did it! I think we're getting better. Well, that's what we think, but it's over to you guys. Comment down below, rate us, put us best to worst. I hate that bit. And if you're enjoying Pass It On, then make sure you like this video. We love doing it and we want to keep doing more of them. And if you have any themes for us to do in future episodes, let us know down below. Before you go, just a quick shout to say thanks to all of you who are using and sending us your thoughts on our PAX app. We wanted to create a tool to help you boss your midweek meals, cut down on food waste, and reduce the cost of your weekly food shop. And you are helping us do just that, so thank you. We want to make this as accessible as possible right now, so if you haven't tried it, you can now for a full month absolutely free. The link is in the description box below. And now for the bloop. But you don't have mash in a hash. It's corned corn beef hash. It's like, it's like roasted potatoes. potatoes or roasted potatoes. Roasted potatoes, then corned beef hash. Or with mash. That's corned beef mash you're thinking of, <laughs> not corned beef hash. No, you but put, nobody has corned beef with mash. You put corned beef, beef into mashed potato and it becomes corned beef hash. Okay, stop this. <laughs> <laughs>